Hello guys, welcome to this video. In this video, our question is: An aeroplane at an height of 250 meter observes the angle of depression of two boats on the opposite banks of the river to be 45 degree and 60 degree respectively. Find the wide of the river. Write the answer correct with the nearest whole number. So this is our question solved. So first, we'll draw a diagram of this question. So first, the question is given that two boats are on the opposite banks of the river so two boats so let uh, one boat is here and the other boat is here so uh, these are two boats uh, these two points so now it is now given an aeroplane at an altitude observes so from 250 meter the aeroplane is observed but the position of the airplane is not mentioned it is not given that the aeroplane is in between the two boats or it is on one side so first we will take that the aeroplane is between so let here is our aeroplane okay so this is given to 50 meter so now here are two boats take it b and c so our b and c are two boats so now if we join it we will get this type of structure so let this point be D. So A, B, C is a triangular grid. So now another one can be. So let this and this are the two boats. So B and C are our boats. Now the aeroplane can also be on one side like this here. Maybe the aeroplane is here. So if we draw an altitude like this. So then the diagram will become like this. So here is A that is 250 meter and this point will be D. So we need to solve both. As in the, in the question the position of the aeroplane is not mentioned. Now it is given the angle of depression are 45 degree and 6 degree respectively. So for the angle of depression we need to draw an horizon like this. So one is 60 degree. So let this side be 60 degree. And let this side is 45 degree. So similar with this diagram also. So in this diagram, we take the smaller one that will be 45 degree. And this full portion, full, we take it as 60 degree. In this full is 60 degree, and only this much portion is 45 degree. So now, here. Uh, this line this line we make it as m n so this line we name as m n so now we can see that this m n is parallel to b c so since it is parallel so this is making an alternate angle so therefore this angle will also be 60 degree so in this side also this is making an alternate angle as they are parallel so this will be 45 degree so similar in this diagram also, here this will be 45 degree and this will be 60 degree. So we will take this triangle first, this side we will take. So we write, in triangle A, B, D, we are taking the triangle A, B, D. So here we will write the 10 60 degree will be question so this angle we are taking for 10 so 10 means height by base so height is our ad and our base is bd so here the value of 10 we know that is root 3 the value of 10 is root 3 and AD value is also given in the question that is 250 meter. So we need to find the value of BD. So if we just modify this equation, it will become BD equals to 250 by root 3. So it will become 250 by. So root 3 value we know that will be 1.732. So like this, we will take the value of root 3. And 
the result will be 144.3 so up to one decimal place we will take as in the quotient it is told that we need to find out the nearest whole number so we will take up to one decimal place so bd value got that is 144.3 meter so now we will take this triangle triangle ADC so in triangle ADC tan 45 degree will be equals to so this 45 degree are taking tan 45 equals to again height by base so AD is the height and our DC will be the base now tan 45 means 1 so AD value equal to 250 so 250 by DC so just it will become DC equals to 250 meter so we got BD and DC so therefore we write distance between two both VB equals to BC this full BC equals to so BC will be BD plus DC this much portion plus DC equals to 144.3 plus 250 that will be equals to 394.3 so 394 means only 394 every shape so 94.3 is coming but in the question it is going to to find the nearest whole number so nearest whole number is 394 meter so this will be the answer when the aeroplane is between the two boats this will be the answer when the aeroplane will be between the two boats. Now, we need to calculate the distance between these two boats that is BC when the aeroplane is on one side. But we do not need to solve this. Again, we do not need to take the triangles. We will just use our logic like this. So, when theta is equal to 60 degree, so this triangle will be equal to this triangle as theta is equal to 60 degree so when theta equals 60 degree we got the value that the result will be 144.3 meter so when the angle is 60 degree we got the value 144.3 meter so that means this portion will be 144.3 meter only this much portion so 60 degree value is becoming 144.3 meter now for 45 degree value we get 250 meter when we take that 1045 as it becomes 250 meter so that means from here to here the full distance will be 250 meter so easily you can calculate the length of this much portion now we need to calculate the distance between the two boards. Our two boards are B and C. So that means this much distance we have to find out. So you can easily calculate it. So you write distance between two boards when they are on one side of the plane. So that means they are on the same side of the plane. That means the plane is on one side and the two boats are on the same uh, other side. So it will be equal to so this full minus this one. So that means DD minus CD. This full distance minus this much portion. So easily can that will be 250 minus 144.3. That becomes 105.7 meter. So, but we need to calculate the nearest whole number. So, that will be equal to 106 meter. So, this will be the final answer for this question. So, for this question, we will get two answers. First, when the two boats are on the opposite sides, you will get 394 meter. And when the two boats are on the same side of the plane, you will get 106 meter. So, 394 meter 
and 106 meter at the final answer for this question. So guys, thanks for watching this video and please subscribe my channel for more solutions like this.